Hello, and good morning. Welcome back to another video. I am super excited about this video. It's gonna be a reading vlog, but fun little twist. It's another buddy read with Carmen. We did a buddy read like last year. Um, I think it was like March, April, May, somewhere in there. Um, and we both vlogged it and we're gonna do it again. So in her last video, she mentioned a book she wants to read and I also have the book and have been wanting to read it. And so we were like, well, better time than now when we still live in the same state and we can buddy read it. So that book is He Fell in Love With His Wife. I cannot remember exactly the author's name right now. So I'll just show it later. It is a classic or like it's a very old book. Oh my word, I keep dropping these flowers. My edition is like, I want to say it, it's either like 1890 or 1860. So it's pretty old and my copy is kind of falling apart, but I have it and I want to read it. And so we want to read it together. One of our mutual friends recommended it to us a long time ago. And when I worked at the thrift store in books, I looked and looked and looked for this book and could not find it. And finally, one day I found it. And I actually found two of this author's books, and so, and that was one of them. So I'm very excited to read it, finally. It is currently August 28th, and so August, I've also been not reading fiction, only nonfiction, which has been quite the experience. I miss fiction so much, but I will say, reading nonfiction has been really good for me. Um, I'm ready for a good story. Like, obviously I've been reading good stories, but like... I don't know, I just miss fiction. So, I'm making an exception for that. I'll probably start that book today. And I'm actually going over to Carmen's this afternoon to hang out because we won't be living in the same state for very much longer. So I have to soak up all the Carmen and Eden that I can because I won't have them for much longer. Currently, I am doing flower, deli flower and coffee delivery. <laughs> My mom bought flowers for the dorm girls and so I'm dropping those off and a friend asked me to bring her coffee at work so and then I'm gonna go shopping at the thrift store and yeah so that's what's happening this afternoon we're going over to Carmen's so hopefully this is an entertaining vlog I have been terrible at vlogging which makes me sad because I wanted like a bunch of fun vlogs from our time in Colorado but that did not happen because I would start vlogs and just delete them. It's <gasps> my road. Oh, miss, didn't miss the road, but you fell over. Okay, I'm here now at the girls' dorm, so let me run these flowers in, and we'll see what else we get into today. Can I just say, thrifting is a dangerous thing. Enough said. Enough said. <laughs> so it is what is today thursday and i haven't done anything on here today today this morning me and my siblings went to a little farmer's market and got some of the best sourdough donuts that a lady from our church makes they're the best um, and then I came home and I've just been working, cleaning ever since pretty much. But I am finally have a moment to sit and drink coffee and just do some things I want. So yesterday at Carmen's I started, he fell in love with his wife and I got, I'm ready for chapter four. I'm enjoying it so far. I think it's going to be funny. That's something Carmen was texting me today and she was finding it very hilarious. So I think it's going to be a funny read. Um, and then I'm also reading Hudson Taylor's Spiritual Secret. And I'm over halfway and I really want to finish it this month. So I might need to focus on this first today. I'm not really sure. Also, have my coffee. This little cup from the thrift store I think is adorable. But anyways. Can I tie to it? But the prompts that were chosen, especially with how thick some of these books are. Hello. I keep just doing updates in bed because I've been so busy that I just don't show anything, which is kind of sad. 
this weekend was not the best weekend for a vlog, but here we are. When I last updated you, I think I last updated you yesterday afternoon. Since then, I finished two books. So I finished a book I'm reading for the class that I take every Tuesday, and then I finished Hudson Taylor's Spiritual Secret. Is that what it's called? Something like that. Finished that today. Loved it. But I haven't read any more in this book. And Carmen is getting far along and I want to catch up. I probably won't catch up. She'll honestly, she may have finished it already. I don't know where she's at currently, but I want to finish this or get some read. So I might read at least one chapter tonight. I don't know. I'm pretty tired. But tomorrow, well, let's back up. Last night was a great night. I think I'm going to include some pictures and maybe some videos if I don't disregard that. Um, we played volleyball in the rain and then had a campfire and worship session and it was so fun. And then tonight we had supper and uh, with a work group that was here to help at the thrift stores. And we played volleyball and had another fire. Tomorrow is the first Georgia football game and I'm so excited. We're gonna have a big football party and lots of good food. Um, it's kind of weird living in mountain time compared to Eastern. The first, our game starts at 12 Eastern, which is 10 AM mountain. So it's gonna be a morning game, but I'm really excited. So I might read chapter, I don't know. Tonight, I'm pretty tired, I need to go to bed. But I also want to read. But I also sat on my phone for too long after I got home tonight and shouldn't have done that. But anyways, good night. If I'm being completely honest, I don't remember the last time that I updated. I it was last week sometime, I think, probably Friday. And it's now the next Thursday, so <sighs> Anyways, basically last weekend was absolutely insanely busy. I have been doing something every day, every night for the past over a week. And so reading has not been happening very much. Yeah, let me catch you up. Basically, last Saturday we had a football party. It was so fun. I did after the um, Georgia got done playing. I was able to read some while people were here, and this book, I'm not sure why it cut me off, but anyways, <clears throat> reading this book around people is very interesting because I know I had people wondering what in the world I'm reading because I was literally laughing and smiling and all the things because this book is so funny. So like I, and I'll, I'll keep talking about the book in a little bit. But anyways, that happened Saturday. Saturday night we had an end of summer um, cowboy party. I'll insert pictures and videos at some point in this vlog. I don't know if it'll be at the end or <clears throat> before this clip, after this clip. I don't know. Um, and that was so, so fun. Just such a party. And then Sunday we had a baptism and then we had church and then we went to Pikes Peak. Some of the guys were riding their motorcycles up to Pikes Peak. Some of us were in a truck, some of us were in a different vehicle. It was so fun, literally. Again, so fun. And then we went to the guy's dorm and had steak and shrimp and fire and karaoke. It was a great day. And then Monday was Labor Day and we went, a bunch of us went out for breakfast or some of us went out for breakfast and then we went jeeping, which was again, so fun. We went and visited some of the other of our friends who had to work that day and then monday night we had a birthday party for oh it's a birthday party for someone and played volleyball oh okay that's fine don't okay sure tuesday tuesday yes had a sun class like they do every tuesday tuesday night oh and tuesday afternoon like for part of a sun we like went up somewhere and sang in a cave which i'll insert something about that and then we had supper and 
had a time of sharing and then we listened to sad songs and got sad. Wednesday, yesterday, I worked. I'm working a few days this week and maybe a day next week to help the girl who took my place to help her out while she's gone. And so I did that and then I went on a motorcycle ride with some friends and then we had softball and then we went and got ice cream. And today I worked and now I'm home. And we do have supper again tonight and I have a meeting tonight with some people. And then tomorrow I'm working part of the day again and I'm sure we'll do something tomorrow evening. And then Saturday, you know what? I'm just gonna stop because I could probably go on forever. And if that was very boring to you, I'm sorry, but whatever. Here we are. That's why this video is not finished and why this book isn't finished and why Carmen has already released her video and I want to watch it, but I want to finish the book first. Those are all my excuses. Let's talk about the book. This book is so good. I'm loving it. There are the majority of the characters that we are with right now are completely dislikable characters can't stand them they're ridiculous but so funny because they're so dumb and like make stupid decisions mrs mumpson in particular i cannot abide this woman she oh, i need a sip of coffee like i want to just like slap her punch her through the book and i can't i don't know it's exasperating and if I'm being honest, this is reminding me, I think the characters in the writing is reminding me of Ella Montgomery's writing. Just like, her characters are so unique, and that's how these are. How these characters are. And I can't wait to get to the part where these silly characters are gone. Basically, have I even said what this is about? Probably not, because I didn't really know what it was about. Basically, we are with Mr. Oh my goodness, I'm Mr. Holcroft, Holcroft, and his first wife has passed away and he needs someone to help him run his farm. He's finding that keeping up with the house and the farm and all of that is just not working out and so he needs to hire help. And he's had several women come in and they're all just terrible. And so they all leave and then a neighbor comes over and is like, hey, I have this cousin or some relative um and she has a daughter and they could come help you turns out he just wants to get rid of her and she's mrs mumpson is she's awful but in a funny way but i want to slap her because she's ridiculous anyways then he he literally okay so he hires her and she's living there with her daughter and she's supposed to be taking care of his house for three months they make an agreement for three months okay fair enough well she is saying she needs a hired girl to help her so they go hire another woman who <laughs> The two women, Mrs. Mumpson and Mrs. Uh, what is her name? Mrs. Wiggins. Mrs. Mrs. Mumpson and Mrs. Wiggins are so completely different, but they both have like I don't know. All I can say is read it because it's so good, and I know it's only gonna get better from here. So Carmen has been raving about it. And so I, I am understanding and I'm excited to continue. So I'm going to sit here and watch Chantel's new video and then I'm going to get to reading some of this because I want, I just want to binge it, but we'll see if that happens. We are there. There is going to be a giveaway because I love adding giveaways to my readathons. And
been drinking my coffee and reading my Bible. Thought I would do a quick update. I'm working like half a day today probably. So be home close to lunchtime. But yeah, I'm up to page 183 in the book. And there's like 359 pages. So I am loving it so much. I think I just got to the good part where the actual relationship that the book is about starts happening. And I don't I don't really want to give spoilers because I went into this book pretty much blind and I feel like that's the best way because I'm just discovering the book for myself and having an amazing time. So yeah, so I read a good chunk yesterday. I don't remember exactly how much. I would love to finish this today. I don't know if that's gonna happen. I can definitely see that happening. So I'll have some time this afternoon. So anyways, I'm gonna go to work and we'll see what the rest of the day brings. But I wish I could stay here all day and just read the book because it's so good, it's so good. So I'm home from work now and just made myself a cup of coffee. Um, got this mug at the thrift store today. The It says Aspen, you know, for Aspen, Colorado. It has mountains, but that is coming off. But I bought it just because I love the size and I love the color because I love green. Fun thrift store finds all the time. Editing Erica here with a very sad update on the coffee mug. It quickly became a favorite mug. And yesterday, as I was getting out of my car, I apparently was over ambitious with how much I thought I could carry. And I dropped it and it shattered. And I'm still mourning at the loss. I've realized that working there again, like, I, like working there again is dangerous because I bought some books too. I should have done a haul, but I put them away and don't feel like getting them. But I have been reading since I got home and I'm on page 213, chapter 22 and still loving it. I, yeah, I don't really have an update. except still yeah just still loving it and can't wait to finish it i hope to finish it tonight but we're going to a football game here in town so i don't really know if i'll be able to um but yeah i'm gonna keep reading <laughs> watching ended but I need to finish this by myself and not around people I I'm gonna cry I'm literally gonna cry I'm on page 332 and it ends on I don't want to read spoilers <laughs> it ends on like 359 it's so good like I'm just gonna keep reading and we'll probably finish it in the next little bit.
I just finished it. I have no words. That was one of the best books I've ever read. couldn't tell by my reaction of finishing that this was everything this was this is one of the best books I've ever read I think it was so good so good and I will talk about it more in detail later I need to recover that was so good so I'm finally able to watch Carmen's vlog on he fell in love with his wife i had started it but then i was like you know what i don't want any chance for spoilers so i'm gonna just wait until i finish it and so now i get to finish her vlog and relive the book through her kind of and wow now because here we go it's like yeah like i said over halfway through the book and this feels very unprofessional but I'm not a professional, and so we're gonna roll with it. It is now Tuesday. I finished the book on Saturday, and I haven't been able to talk about it, or I haven't talked about it. Um, I haven't like wrapped up my final thoughts, but I've been editing the video, and I need to get it posted. So I just decided, you know what? I'm just gonna before I go to bed. I'm just gonna film the outro. I had such a fun time with this book and I'm so glad I read it because it will go down as one of my favorites. It, I don't know, the writing, I loved the writing so much. I enjoyed the faith elements that were in here. I loved the characters. You know, I'm even glad that Mrs. Momsen was in here. I can't stand her, but she's so, she's like, she's terrible enough that it's actually kind of funny. And yeah, I just, I fell in love with the main characters and I loved seeing them fall in love and everything that came with it. So yeah, this was five stars and it's actually making it onto my six star list. I have a few books that, I know six stars like isn't technically a thing, but in my mind, there's a few books that are like, They've exceeded five star level and they exceed all the five star books and even go beyond and they're my six star books. And I think this one makes that list. Now my goal is to just get everyone possible to read it. I'm so sad that my copy is falling apart because I can't lend it out. I'm scared to lend it out and it's actually missing a page. Carmen had to send me a picture of some of a page. Um, and so I need to get a copy that I can lend out to people and that I can go back and annotate and all of the things because this is an old edition and I didn't want to ruin it. But I also bought it, well, I got it for free on my Kindle. So I have it, I can read it whenever. And I feel like this is just gonna be a comfort book. Like I'm gonna look at this book and feel comfort. I feel like I read it at the perfect time too. It's just, it hit. And so, if you've ever taken a recommendation from me, take this one. Like, it's so good. And even if you don't like old writing, like, it felt like it was super easy to read. I was, like, I could, I flew through it pretty fast. Like, it's not hard to read, in my opinion. And... Just read it. Just read it. I'm so glad to finally read that one and I'm excited to read um, another one of his books. I have A Day of Fate by E.P. Rowe as well. I don't know when I'll get to it, but anyways, thank you for watching and let me know if you like these vlog styles. I enjoy watching them. They're a little bit harder for me to film, um, partly because I use my phone to film and so it can just get annoying to have all of the footage on my phone until I can get it posted one day, get a camera. But yeah, let me know if you like this. Um, I'm also going to, at the end, insert some clips and pictures from the week that was not book related. It was, 
it was one of the most fun weeks um weekends slash week and a half however long it was so i wanted to include a few things just at the end for fun so that i can go back in with the memories so hope you enjoyed that as well the rest of this month is super busy so i don't know if i'm a it's already it's already september 10th as i'm filming this end clip um i don't know if i'm gonna get an august wrap up out if i'm being honest because it's just it just is gonna still be busy and so um it might wait until i can combine august and september who knows it might be longer than that just with moving in october and trying to soak up as much of my people here as i possibly can so with all that said i hope you have an amazing day whenever you watch this and thank you for watching and um go read he fell in love with his wife and then let me know your thoughts. I would love to have like an entire discussion on this book because I it, I know it's not popular, at least in the circles. I've never heard of it until one of my friends told me about it. And so go read it. He Fell in Love with His Wife by E.P. Rowe, um, a new favorite. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>